Hello everybody and welcome back to another Jake Saucy Stuff episode and we are actually starting the build now on the Mini Talon V2 and I'm sure you're happy to see that I must care about this model because um, I have the, 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 the foam underneath to keep some of the sort of chips and stuff that are in this panel out of it and I've come across our very first problem basically the first thing I tried to do was put some servos in the wings and I'm going to be using the Raystar MG90s, these are better than the Tau Pro ones that Banggood sell. Uh, if you want to know about the issues of the Banggood ones, um, of the original Tau Pro ones, original. There's videos on the channel of me testing all of them that, that didn't work. Um, now, hopefully you can see the gravity of the situation. These servos are clearly too small. Standard 9 gram servos are far too small. A servo that will just about fit are what I believe are classed as mini servos, like this HS82 from Hi-Tech, because if you look at this one, that will fit. It's a little bit too tall, but the tags fit in and it's solid against each side. So just to show you the scale of the issue, it is about 30 mil across that servo. Horn, it's bang on 30mm and I measured it. I didn't have another camera in my hand. Uh, and these servos are 22, maybe 2022. 20, Sounds about right. So we have a few, we obviously have a bit of a problem. And what's even more interesting is the fact that there's no grams in the tail. And what I don't understand is like there isn't that much difference where I would say you need to go up a, another servo amount. And also, two things. One, I personally prefer elevators to be stronger than ailerons because elevators control pitch, which is, and on this tail, uh, you know, rudder. So that will get me home. So I'd rather have the better servos in that than in the wings. And also, you technically have two servos doing the job of doing the roll. So it's a bit kind of like pointless. My first idea was to 3D print like a U bracket to sit in here that the servo would fit in, but. Having looked at both servos next to each other, it's going to be hard for me to do, but I think you just have to trust me. But they're the same thickness. They're bang on the same thickness. So when this one eventually goes in here, which actually we can actually get to fit in here. As you can see, it is flat, more or less against the wing, as that one would be. So making a U would be a problem because then the servo would stick out too much. So what I'm going to do is put some wood either side. Now the problem is, of course, it's one of the first people building this. There's no instructions and there's no real build videos to go off of. Um, a lot of people seem to have jumped straight to maiden flights and not doing build logs like this. So we have two different types of control rod. We have a little one and a big one. It's obviously two of each, two for the other ones, two for the V-tails. And I was kind of wanting to work out which one would be which so I could link this up and have the servo in the right place because I don't want to, because I'm having to tell where the servo goes, I don't want it in the wrong place. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but what I've decided to do is because I, I could have built the details up instead, um, got the right connection on here, and then worked it out. But what I'm going to do, just for the sake of ease and the, to, to limit the chance of possible fuck up, is I'm basically going to mount this as far back as possible because it can always be a bit too long, but being too short is a nightmare. And then I'm going to just put uh, like a 10 mil bit of spruce or balsa or something behind that to fill up that gap. I mean, it, it's, it's, it's not, oh, just about big enough to fit my little finger in. So we need to do that. Um, so that's going to be interesting. And of course, we're going to have to try and get this sort of mounted a bit like that and sort of pressed hard into that corner to make sure it's straight so don't have any weird push-pull situations going on um but of course um that's gonna be fun to do i need to see if we've got any scrap wood that's about 10 mil thick because this isn't being screwed into it bolts will do as again it's, it's more space than anything and if you want to see you could 3d print a spacer or something like that but it's a bit of a nightmare and pointless Another thing I've noticed also is with these things that I, I presume are like custom made for this, or if not, they are XUAV's things. Um, they're slightly too big for the the recess. You can see where it's kind of focus created a second recess there. So you have to cut that out in order to get this to fit in. Um, well, yeah, 
a little bit of a nightmare to start with this. Um, it's a little unfortunate that was the first job I came to. If I came to the retail, for example, come on, I'll blow this. Um, it wouldn't have been a problem. They go, they go straight in. That's not glued in. That's just for fit. But that's even more confusing because I thought, well, hang on, they're the same on the tail, and they're not. So I know you can get these like twelve gram. Are they even twelve gram ones? I'm not sure. Double check your sizes. Make sure they're thirty mil across. Um, like the Coronas might be that. Ha 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 ha. Um, but other than that, um, I'm going to leave it for uh, recording for now. Um, and I'll come back to you with the solution done on this wing. Because then we also, of course, you know, we have the second wing that we can do. And I'll show you the exact process I went through. But I'm going to get this one done so I know it's going to work. And then show you how to do it on the second wing. So I will see you all very shortly. Right. So we have... That wing done. As you see, I've found it says it's, it's not on the screen. I've found a bit of wood, some just like balsa. Throw it in the end, cut it off, glue it in. Hopefully, this won't bite me in the arse. Um, in fact, hmm, I was about to start on the second wing and show you how I do it, how I did it. But what I may do is hook this up and actually get this linked up to make sure I'm doing it right before I make a balls up of both wings. I have to fix both. So, I'm going to grab a scalpel. Like the proper surgeon that I am. And just mark it across the back of that. Well, you have to very sharp scalpel this. Okay. So. Well. That was going to happen at some point. Has that ever happened in a video yet? Oh, are these not meant to? Am I going mad? The bits on the top fit all right. I'm just going to screw it in for now. I may do them in at a later date. Yeah, I'm going to glue these in. They're not filling me with confidence. They're, they are a decent set, but... I don't think that's screwed in at all. What the hell's it been? I don't believe it. <laughs> oh dear. What a silly bully.
Okay, so that's now the right way around. So if you can get the gravity of the situation there, we may have made a mistake. Now this, ladies and gentlemen, will prove the theory of does the masking tape help you get a servo out? Because I need to get that servo the other way around. So, live test. have glued in the tabs. Okay, if I can glue these tags in, I think it'll come out fairly easily. Ooh, all well, the bottom of it is still gluey. Ugh, ugh. Okay, I'm going to just put that over there out the way. And I think I will sort this one out to take its place. Um, another thing I should possibly do is wipe out the glue that hasn't gone off in here. Because gluing onto super glue isn't great. So if I can take any of that candy, then I will. I did sort of the foam, we're going to redo it so it'll etch into the foam a bit more. It'll etch into the into the foam a bit more now. So it's going to actually go that way around. I should really what a ball like. Uh, yeah, the small ones definitely go on the V tail. So the big ones. So those playing along at home, go on the other ones. I will stick my claim on that. <laughs> 